Hey Subsistence fans, Apecho here. Welcome to my second challenge series. Uh, first one ended with uh, me dying and putting a vote up basically saying, hey guys, do you want me to keep going with the series or start a new one? Uh, we had got a fair way really with the first series. So uh, the vote was pretty much overwhelmingly, let's start a new one, let's do something new. So that's what we're doing. This series, this challenge will be a mostly underwater base. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I start building it. Um, obviously I need to breathe, so that's the uh, slight difference. <laughs> Darn it, oof, there's a bag up there. Or as uh, I think it was Dax said, let's just try and call them containers rather than bags, boxes and crates. <laughs> So I will try and do that. See if I can just call them containers from now on. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, this ain't good. So yeah, um, mostly underwater base. Uh, messed around a little bit with it uh, in another profile just to see if I can do something like that. And it looks like it should work. So we shall see how it goes. I'm hoping that wolf turns around. Where's that bear? The uh, container, I should say. Yeah, that's rubbing salt in the wound. Cloth straight away, and that just showed up right behind me. I needed so much cloth on the other game in the first be first container I opened. <laughs> it's got a cloth in it. Tell you what, there's a few crates to start with. Bags, boxes, containers. <laughs> So I'm looking at doing this, uh, I mean there's a lot of places I could try it actually, but the place I'm going to do it is what I like to call Bear Alley. Because of the drop off into the water, pretty much, uh, or oh, it's one of the places that's got a good drop off into the water, uh, it gives me cover from behind as well, so it will be interesting to see what happens here tell you what if the container is going to hold this amount tell you what I haven't even had a chance to get any wood yet uh, get that out of there that's for wood let's grab a little bit of wood I've got nine arrows I can make a set of stairs already Not a bad start if I do say so myself. That's famous last words. You ever heard them? So yeah, um, <clears throat> most of the base will be underneath. Uh, pretty much what it'll be is there'll be enough gap for me to stand up in there and get air. That's pretty much it. Now obviously that's going to allow the ceilings to be hit. So we obviously will be looking at getting those plated up as soon as possible as well. Uh, and basically just see how long I can live. See how long I can last. I'm not going to make a bed. Not at this stage anyway. Going to steer clear of the bed for now. Go back to the true hardcore. Permadeath I should say. Say hardcore, permadeath. Yeah, nice start. We can make the uh, set of stairs already. So somewhere to run to if I need to for the, the wolves. But yeah, this area, this is Bear Alley. Bears love this area. So that's another challenge in itself. It's a rabbit. I can't get you. There's a I think there's a wolf over there, not a bear this time, but... And a deer. Hey deer. Okay, so we're going to eat two berries. Let's make our stairs. Oh, we need to make the planks first. 
So I'll wait. Get a little bit more wood while that's going on. And the other good thing about this spot is to... So you get the cover from behind. Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, I'll either I'll probably be putting it up this end, I think. Um, might run the stairs off somewhere like here. Uh, the hunters can come down to there, so what I would want to do... Oops, get up there. Hmm. This side might be better. I don't like the trees. Trees annoy me because of the, the cover that they give the hunters. But... We don't want them shooting us from there because that's going to be we're going to be sitting ducks from there. All right, so I think what I might do is put it somewhere here, somewhere sort of slightly in between. Run it down there. Let's let's, let's try it out. Let's just make a set of stairs for a moment, just the small stairs for now. There'll be a bit of fumbling around, probably just getting the right uh, depth for everything, but uh, when we get to it, we will cross that hurdle. For now, let's just put these at a spot where I can be jump on and be safe. Mm, I might make that fraction higher, actually. Just a little bit. Oh. That'll do. Yep. We'll adjust them later, just somewhere I can go if I need to, for now. Because we can't make a lot, a lot else at the moment. Alright, so we're good on veg. That's a good start. Good start for veg. Another be another container over there. I'll try and say container, guys. See if you prefer to say that, or just say all the different terms that we give them. If I do it there, it's just the one spot they can get me from this side. That's another possibility. I've built bases there before. That's another option. We can move it too, of course. We can move everything around. But for now, collection time. One chicken so far. Hoping to find another chicken down here. There's li likely a bear and a wolf down here as well. There's a rabbit. Scrap is good. We need scrap. Tell you what, these containers are thick and fast at the moment, aren't they? This is a... Whoops, there's the bear. <laughs> that container ain't going to be got. But that does mean I can get the grub tree down here. Unless the wolf's down here. Let's find out, shall we? Black bear too. Now let's try and run the rabbit around to the point. You never know. Could be lucky. Which way are you going to go that way? Okay. Sometimes if you can get them to turn around towards yourself, you can uh, pick them up on the way back. Ah, uh, bloody wolf. Oh, I nearly got him too. Which way are you going to go? He's going to go left now, probably. Ah, uh, here he comes. <laughs> Which way now? Which way are you going to go, bunny? Did he keep going left that time? He did, I think. Yeah. All right, let's not, let's not mess around with this wolf. <laughs> That's worth a try. I didn't have the... Uh, I couldn't run around with the wolf there. So there's one bag I can't get. At least. Container. <laughs> a wolf of faceplant rocks. Come on. I want to cross over there. Oh, maybe we won't. Well, let's just go up the hill here a bit, eh? Another bear up further. You 
Yes, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know it works. I know I can build uh, what I'm intending to. So it's just whether I can uh, survive long enough with a roof over my head, basically. So I think I've got a name for the name for the series. I'll put it in the title when I uh, when I put it up. Black bear, no, we shall steer clear of you. And the thing about an underwater base is that uh, there is plenty of room to build. Not too many levels. Of course, it's only going to be one level. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe I could do. Maybe I'll do two levels. You know, I might. I might do that. I might look at doing two levels actually. It would certainly keep uh, certain things protected. All the, all the equipment protected. I mean, anything. Now the one thing I don't, I haven't tested out, is if a grenade arrow hits, say, the ceiling piece above the water, does everything below it get hit as well? Because you know yourself, if you if you shoot at the water, you, you, it doesn't go, don't doesn't go in the water. You don't you don't hit whatever it is. So that would be curious to see too. So in fact the. The BCE could be absolutely, absolutely impossible to get. Along with everything else. That's a nice right angle turn. Thank you. But the thing is, it's not the equipment I'm worried about, it's me. <laughs> That's the thing. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be vulnerable for quite a while, I think. Uh, I am also doing this on periodic attacks as well, for now. Let's go all out, all out put it on periodic, periodic attacks as well. Now I need to find more scrap, I've only got the, I've got two. Because we need to get a, uh, a canteen done. Along with plenty of other things to make. Fishing rod, which will come in quite handy I think. Two wolves over there. And currently the uh, the campfire does also work underwater. <laughs> and the, the even funnier thing about it is it will go out if it rains and you don't have a roof over it, even though it's underwater. <laughs> so that's that was quite amusing when I saw that, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> User for shits and giggles for now, and see. Here. Obviously, Cold Games will will uh, get that fixed at some point. That Alpha 60 can't be too far away either, eh? We're all hanging out for that. Get into this open area and see if I can find a bit of scrap. Some more containers to hopefully. Be able to get this one. Chicken. Oh, bag. Container. <laughs> I try and get chickens as early as I can while my stamina is good. Ah, oh, I just missed him. Okay. Quick look over here. It's quite often a container, but we've got a bear and a wolf there, so uh uh. No, oh, thank you. Let's get our stamina back. Got a lot of fibre out here too. Let's get some planks. Use it all actually. And some fibre. Just 
keep a couple. I'll find more fibre, but it's always good just to have a few on you, just in case. Where was that container? Somewhere up here, I think. I thought. Where'd you go? There it is. Didn't go far enough. Mm, I know they're containers, but it's sort of awkward calling them containers too. But I've been spending the last six years calling them everything else. Hard habit to break. But container is the correct term, really, for them. They just look like bags, boxes and crates. <laughs> and if you prefer to see me fumble around calling them whichever, I can go back to that too. Which I'm still doing anyway. of it. Can I make? Yes I can make. I've got a biofuel. Good. That works. Get the campfire and the uh, cooking side of things set up. Fire starters. Alright, I'm not going to go any further than this. I'll just sort of head down around the centre pond. Where was that wolf? There he is. Unless, of course, the game shows me a, a container over there and uh, drags me further away from where I want to be. Even just five is enough to do it. Especially early game. You grab absolutely everything you can. So I think we got three chickens, is it? One, two, three, yes. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be a fun series, and uh, yeah, I'm really keen to see how the how the hunters handle it. Um, it's a shame they have grenade arrows so early, but uh, that's that's going to uh, enforce the the urgency of getting things, getting those ceiling pieces plated up. Now use ceiling pieces rather than roof pieces because they've got more hit points. which is definitely going to make a difference early. It's already getting into the afternoon. Oh, here a bit. Where are you? Over there. And a wolf. What else can I make? Uh, so I'm just waiting on the sticks. Alright, let's just get that out the way now, just quickly. That done. Uh, a couple more sticks for the campfire. I'll get wood a bit closer to base now. I'm just going to try and get some more loot on the way back where I'm building. Where'd that bear go? No idea. There he is up there. Okay, good. So yeah, no bed this time around. If I die, that is all. And I could still die now. I mean, I'm running out of protein, so I've got to be careful getting back. That's for sure. We'll do a little run past the, uh, on the left of Autastic. Hopefully find a few containers there. trying to get a fishing rod done but I've only got two scraps still maybe scraps going to be hard this this uh, playthrough god I hope not you're a bit closer chicken I'll give it a go gotcha nice come on 
the scrap. I need two more pieces. Well, actually, I've got to make the canteen, don't I? So I need one more for that. Jeez. All right. This is a tough start, actually. I've got the got the you know, lots of containers, but uh, scraparoon, no. We might find a few bits on the way back. Oh, I hope we do. Uh, campfire, get that done. All right, so that's uh, that side of it. Food is sorted. Help me move yourself. Hope he's not chasing me. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah. No, I'm not chasing you, chicken. Not now. Let's get down to the beach and see if we can see you down there. It's a lot easier to see if it is too, is there as well, of course. Ah, oh, bear. Not seen any scrap. This could be a thirsty night. Now I've got to go this way because that bear's coming around. It's going to be a slow trip back. At this stage, how are we going for wood? Not much wood. That's all right. We can get, we can get a little bit more wood. That's no dramas, but... We've got to get scrap. Gots to get scrap. Oh, there's a builder's container there. Hopefully no wolf next to it. Around the other side of the rock, no, good. Good, got the scrap. Make that up. Oh, a couple more of those. That's alright, we shall do that. Now, three more scrap for a fishing rod. Yeah, I got mostly uh, ammo and medical uh, containers, didn't I? And this one? That's on the first or I think it's uh, maybe the second uh, builder's one I've got. getting down a little look over here can be a good area for containers and scrap as well nope okay let's keep moving I could swim across but I need every chance to find scrap hey buddy your turn will come, hopefully. I got seven nails. Not going to get me too much else either. Probably going to make me another set of stairs, won't it? Yeah, but <laughs> another set of stairs is not really what I need right now. Not yet, anyway. I mean, it will actually probably be the next thing I do make, but I don't need to make it yet. I'd rather use those nails for uh, arrows. Let's grab a little bit more wood on the way back. Oh, no, I'm hungry. What's the bow need again? Yes, I can make that. And the arrows need feathers, which I will have. I've got two feathers already, actually, so yeah, that works. Oh, hello, bear. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I might actually eat these grubs, you know, because we do not want to be hungry. But then again, I've got the apple to eat. 
and those to eat. So that would that should get rid of the uh, yep the hunger symbol. Old chicken, stop teasing me, would you? I can't catch you. Where are you? Down there. Alright. Okay, well, it looks like we're probably just going to have to head back to our little set of stairs. Where'd that bear go? There. Split the difference here, guys. Yeah, scraps really uh, hard to come by at the moment. I might have to spend a bit of time up in the eastern plains and try and get a few up there as well at some point. Anyway, let's get a little more wood while we're here. Don't know how far to run if we need to run. So we're good for food, good for water. Veg is nearly full, so I mean that's 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 good. But as usual, we need to need to find veg early to keep that going. I won't uh, I won't use any won't make and use the arrows uh, till a bit later. Use them up tomorrow. I've got enough food for tonight. They won't fill me up, of course, but uh, it will put me probably, oh, I think about three quarters, maybe. Just about, anyway. That bear's come out of there, but that's all right. I'm not going to be going down there now. Let's have a little bit of a look up here. And then we'll head back. I know it's going to start getting dark. There's our first lock crate. Awesome. Pity I can't have it. Alright. Let's get down here. Get ourselves set up. For the night. Now the other option is to have the stairs... I'm thinking that's almost a better move. Let's try this. Just for the moment. If we sort of put them... out there... I can jump there... That'll do for now, anyway. There's not quite any indent here, so when it does rain, we'll need to have a, a roof or put the, the fire underneath there. That's fine, we can do that. Let's chuck this guy in here now. Fill her up. Uh, yeah, might as well turn it on. That. Cook up some chicken dinner. Well, not a bad first day. We survived, for starters. Uh, but, yeah, look, this guy, Scrap, he's looking a bit of a bit of a worry at the moment. Didn't get a lot of nails either, of course, but we got we got plenty of containers, so, look, it's, that sort of thing is... Uh, that's that's good. I mean, the, the getting those containers is, is so important, of course. Uh, what do we need for the bow? Three more cordage. Uh, one, two, and... Yeah. Just do the three for now. One more lot of sticks, so I'll make a few sticks actually for the arrows. Because we need to get bunnies, we need to get cloth. So critical early to get that cloth going. Yeah, I might look I might as well cook these up now. I just can't otherwise I'd, I'd I'd love to be able to make the fishing rod, but I can't. I haven't got the scrap. Need four scrap. I only got one. So, fishing rod is second this time in the list of food 
gathering things. So let's make the bow. And six arrows. That does that part of it, so that's that's good though. And we've still got seven uh, feathers as well, which is also good. Check you down there for that. Let's just sort it out how I do my crate usually, my chest usually. Let's make up a few more of those. Eat those. Yeah, about three quarters. Touch over maybe. But that's right, it gets me going in the morning. That's the main thing. If I'm lucky enough to get a rabbit or a chicken early, I'll uh, come straight back and cook it up too. So that's where we started. Worked our way down around there, up over there, through there, around there, and around there. So we've got to fill in that big gap there. Um, when the hunters come in, they will most likely, obviously, they'll be in this arc here. We might be, we might be super lucky to get one down there. It'd be good if one actually ends up down there. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, may get them over there too. So that's the that's the first area we should really open that up. Although I won't be putting the uh, the BCU down for a little bit, probably a few days at least. Um, obviously, I need to get some cover. <laughs> I need to get a one by one at least down in the depths, the murky depths down there. So yeah, uh, put that back on. So we got a little bit of everything, not too bad, not a bad start really. All right, sweet. Okay, guys, I might leave it there for now. Thanks a lot for joining, and uh, hopefully this series ends up being a long one. The last one was, I think, 25 days, I think it was. Um, so not too bad considering. I mean, I could have kept going, obviously, for a bit longer in that one. I didn't didn't, didn't uh, die in the end the second time. But uh, like I said, this time, no bed. So, yeah, we shall see how this goes. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. Um, if you like this... Uh, actually, before I do so that, um, I just had a bunch of subscribers just uh, join up. Um, last few days so thanks very much for subscribing guys it's great to have you here uh, it makes all the difference as to getting the, this content out uh, to you guys and um, hopefully you'll enjoy the content and keep watching and um, yeah so thanks a lot for that but uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already for those who haven't and I will catch you all on the next one we'll see you later